What's remarkable is that the order that you consume each macronutrient has a pretty profound influence on the rate of insulin and glucose secretion into the blood and how quickly those levels rise. If you were to eat the fibrous thing first, so a lot of chewing, but not a big rise in blood glucose, that will actually blunt the release of glucose until you eat the fish and the rice. But believe it or not, it will actually blunt the glucose increase that the rice would cause. Now, I'm not talking about neurotically eating each macronutrient separately in sequence. I'm just trying to give you a picture of what's happening ordinarily. So what does this all mean? It means that if you want a steep increase in glucose, you are very, very hungry, then you should eat the the carbohydrate laden food first, or you should eat a bunch of macronutrients combined. So that would be like the hamburger or the sandwich, the, the bread, the whatever's in that sandwich all together. If you want to have a kind of more modest increase in glucose, or you want to blunt the increase in glucose, then have the, at least some of the fibrous thing first, and then the protein, and then the carbohydrate, you will notice that your blood glucose will rise more steadily and that you'll achieve satiety earlier in the meal. Basically what you're trying to avoid are steep increases in blood sugar. And the order that you eat foods has an enormous impact on that. 